Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast where we provide nourishment for the soul, allowing you to transform from the inside out, providing you rapid results in mindset and fitness so you can recharge your battery and reclaim your power. Thanks so much for tuning in. Now, when you find yourself wanting to take some time off from your health and fitness ritual, is it self-compassion to give yourself a break or are you letting yourself off easy and being lazy? Here are some things to consider. Stay tuned. Hey there, my friend Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast Podcast, giving you the energy to recharge your battery so that you can reclaim your power. And we're going to talk about having compassion for yourself versus letting yourself off the hook when it comes to to your health and fitness. But before we jump into all that, please make sure you go over to talktoperry.com. Get on my calendar. This is wide open for YouTube listeners like you because you want to recharge your battery. I want you to recharge your battery and we can reclaim your power in 15 minutes. So go to talktoperry.com. Now, there are times on my fitness journey when I just felt like I needed to take an extra rest day or two. And as I came to that decision, I often wondered, do I really need this? Am I just being lazy, letting myself off the hook? And, and, and mind you, this wasn't like a built-in scheduled rest day. This, this is like an additional one. I'm like, gosh, am I, am I, being, am I letting myself off the hook? Is this going to become a habit? So let's consider a few things and see if we could spot the difference. I'm thinking to myself, is this decision about my overall health and well-being? So you can ask yourself that. Uh, is it genuine self-care for yourself? Well, that that carries you forward to make the most of your journey, and then you get right back into your routine. Or is it just about an in-the-moment decision where you're just not feeling like showing up and you're just trying to justify a rest day, a cheat day, a treat day, whatever you want to call it. You know, this live a little, you deserve this, you've been working out so hard, you deserve a break. You know, that that self-talk. Another thing to, that I considered was, you know, am I determined to push myself after the goals I want? Or am I playing it safe? Now, many times we fear that we won't be successful and stick with it. Especially if you're just starting out. It's it's like we're almost waiting for the opportunity for the plan not to work so that we can give up and just not have to deal with it anymore. Because let's face it, exercise does take take it takes effort, it takes time, and takes focus and persistency. But when you're in that mindset, it's, it's kind of like you're protecting yourself to go back into a comfort zone. But when you have true self-compassion and you're wanting to have that breakthrough, then you challenge yourself. You step out of your comfort zone. You trust the process and you begin to build self-belief. You see, you, you, you look at failures and you look at obstacles as opportunities to give you a better future. So if you're finding yourself backing off and going easy, and you're justifying it, then you're more likely to be coming at this from an approach of fear versus self-compassion. I know it can be super subtle. You're like, am I taking the day off because I, I deserve this? I, I need it. My body needs a break. Or is it, yeah, I just don't feel like it. And, you know, especially when you're drained and you feel like you want to avoid everything and just hide and treat yourself and binge watch TV and just chill out. You know, that's where I can help. And and I know you have a, a dream and you have a goal and you have to recharge your own battery. And I can be that recharging station for you to get back to full power. Just book a call. Get on my calendar. I do this for you right here on YouTube. Go to talktoperry.com and I want to hear your struggles right now. Whatever it is that's draining your battery. And I can tell you within 15 minutes of our chat together, which direction is best for you, where you're going to get the biggest results from so that you can recharge your own battery and reclaim your power, my friend. That's talktoperry.com. So are you listening to your body or is it laziness? You know, if, you're, if your body is truly screaming rest, then 
for sure rest. I mean, your muscles need it. Your mindset needs it. Your, your body just, it, and it gives you that energy to, to boost back and come back better than ever. You know, maybe you slept bad. Maybe you're, you've been going at your workouts hard for a really long time. Maybe you've been super consistent with your routine, like five, six days a week for years. Sure. Build that in there. You know, it, it, look at it this way. Will this extra rest, will the, will, will the extra rest day make a massive difference in my overall goals? You know, is it to help you get better? If yes, I mean, do it. I love rest days and when they're recommended, I take them. You know, I might do an active recovery of some sort, but those are as, as important as the actual workouts. But if it's like, I'm just not feeling it, then probably not. You should hit the gym. You're going to feel better and you'll feel more energized and empowered that you did. But you got to get real with yourself and your determination. Is it, are you going after what you desire? And what, you know, you got to look at the actual benefit of the rest day. Long-term goal versus a short-term fix. Um, and you can choose, you know, you choose to use your power to take control or you can choose to let the excuses and the justifications and the rationalizations, no matter how how much you give them power, you can let them control you and zap your power. It's deciding and committing to yourself and your goals. And it takes time. It takes focus. But it's the, the empowering choice to give up the excuses and the alibis and to recognize when they're happening and to choose to figure out new ways and to look at possibilities and learn and grow and keep moving forward. I mean, you've got to keep going. So absolutely, you've got this, my friend. That's another Power Blast podcast in the books. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, when you are ready to recharge your battery, make sure you go to talktoperry.com. That's talktoperry.com. That's P-E-R-R-Y. And I want to listen. I want to hear you know, what's going on? I want to help you in that 15-minute call to recharge your battery and reclaim your power so that you're off and running and creating massive momentum toward your dream. Also, every day, I am delivering more motivation, support, tips, and strategies inside my free community with amazing people uh, like yourself. And we are conquering the mindset and the fitness. I do 52 weeks of free training in there, plus I coach and I mentor people, as well as give you access to tons of resources and guides. It's called my Upside Down Fitness Community because we work on a lot of mindset stuff, the inside stuff, and we're a fun group of people striving to make healthier habits in this awesome chapter of life. So uh, make sure you get in there. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Just head over to UpsideDownFit.com and you can get into the group. And hey, you would be an awesome friend. If you get over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and leave an honest rating and review for the Power Blast podcast. It helps awesome people like you find this show even faster. And that's who I'm looking for, awesome people like you. That's all I have for this week, my friend. And it, just to let you know, you absolutely rock. That's all I have for this week. I'll see you on the next Power Blast podcast. And always remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. <laughs>